Welcome everyone to Jonas with Just Commentary. So guys, we're going back to a video. Um, we're sticking to the culture videos. This video is entitled for the request. This one is entitled Becoming a Monk in Thailand for 24 hours. Of course, I want to thank you guys for requesting this one. Um, I, I'm quite intrigued by the whole um, religion or the culture of being a monk. Um, I did understood that um, as a young person, it's a privilege if you choose to become a monk, whether it's for a short period of time or for a children that pass away. Um, the families of young people or young men, especially who decide to become a monk, are very proud. And even it's even an honor. Let's say you, you just want to do something for your parents. Um, becoming a monk, whether it's for a short period of time or a long one, is very much a joy. I remember I reacted to a video from Khan Behog where Khan became a monk and they did this entire ceremony. It was almost like a wedding. <laughs> but it was a great privilege for his family to see that he um, respected that belief and that he became a monk for not a short period, but he became a monk. Um, so I'm going to react to this video, of course. I'm not quite sure what to expect. For sure, I know somebody's going to become a monk for 24 hours. <laughs> so we're going to react to this video, of course. Thank you so very much for requesting it. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. If you want me to react to the video, don't forget, of course, guys, leave a comment below. Thank you so very much. Let's go ahead. Let's see. Becoming a monk in Thailand for 24 hours. Oh, okay, so it's a foreigner becoming a monk for 24 hours. A foreigner, you don't look Thai. Oh, this video quality is amazing. What? Whoa, that is amazing. Oh, already. Props to the video creator, of course. The original video link will be in this description. That video looks great. You swear this is from a movie. No way, yo! The video producer the must be like an actor. The largest or... religion in the world. Okay, we're gonna listen. Half a billion followers. But growing up in the West, none of us knew much about it. So when we arrived yeah, in Thailand Westerners. a few months ago, we wanted to gather a deeper understanding wow. of the culture and new country we were about to explore. Which is why the first conversation Ooh. out of the plane was this. We've been in Thailand for about two hours. I mentioned how we want to try and like interact with monks or do something with monks. He's like, oh, you want to be a monk? He's like, okay, what does that mean? He's like, you shave everything, including your eyebrows. I'm not going to do that. I already did Japan. <laughs> It's a tradition here in Thailand where the teenage boys they will become a monk basically. Yeah. Because it's a way to respect their parents. Mm. How I was said that on Khan Island. That you see, I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm learning. Yeah. <laughs> I would try it for a day. I think I would try it for a day. That's my biggest question. I. I would try it for a day. I think That's I would, Kevin. you know, During just to learn. Thailand, he helped us plan our party for 24 hours. Awesome. Took us to the best places in Bangkok and helped us organize a surprise <laughs> honeymoon retreat for a couple. Kevin's the man wow. with the connections. And two weeks after this wow. conversation, we were in Chiang Mai in the north of Thailand when out of the blue, he called us. Kevin? Yo, what's up? What's up, man? What's up? <laughs> I should maybe connect with Kevin when I'm coming to Thailand. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> the monk he's talking about is wow. one of the most respected and well-known monks in all of Thailand. He's a lecturer wow. who's written dozens of bestseller books about life and Buddhism, helped refugees all over the world, successfully spread his message of love to millions of people online, that is good. and closely works with the Pope and the Dalai Lama. So when we woke up, we wow. truly had absolutely no clue what we're about oh, to Oh, by experience. the way, the guy who is in command after the Dalai Lama, I believe he, he invested in my country. Um, in a place called Jungle Bay. Um, I have featured the video at the end of my videos before. The, the guy after the Dalai Lama, whoever is next, in, next to the phone or whatever it's called. Okay, let's focus on this one. Did you? That's good. That's good. That's good. So here's all we know that there's some kind of festival or celebration going on. Unfortunately, we haven't been told what it is. <laughs> Ooh. I'm so confused right now. I'm exhausted. <laughs> wow, that is amazing. Self-aware, like, self like you don't want to ask a monk to like sleep in their monastery. But that's what we're trying to do, you know. Like we want to experience <laughs> what they experience. And it's very hard yeah. to pitch that without being like a ignorant. Mood, I understand. Right How do we do this? Ah, that's <laughs> great. How are you? Follow me, and you YouTuber. Yeah, <laughs> YouTuber. <laughs> I heard about someone who will become a monk. Yeah. 
<laughs> wow. Okay. Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. Yo, I want to try this. I kind of tossed you into the bus there, Wow, that is. <laughs> oh my gosh! It's mainly out of curiosity and out of education and to learn any stereotypes or any misconceptions. Yeah, exactly. It's good to learn new things. One day, one day. Yeah. First young novice in the world. Chuck Tom. I was saying the first person to ever be a monk, a novice monk, for just one day. One day, yeah. So fast. Mike and Sam. <laughs> In English? Oh my gosh! That looks so cool behind there. Oh my gosh, Thailand has a lot of rich culture. Shaving your head and eyebrows, buddy. Rich culture. Wow. That is amazing. And of course, Koan. Koan, the dance. I believe that was a good the difference. Wow. Love is borderless. Love is borderless. Love is borderless. Oh. Feeding us the so much ice cream, banana fries. Uh, banana. Oh, try. I gotta try this. Okay, try, yeah, try. Yeah. It's delicious. <laughs> it's incredible. It's so amazing to see wow. here. Yeah. That's why I'm asking how do you come yeah. here? And yeah. Who bring you here? Yeah. <laughs> Program. We are not inviting so many people. Just only I want to. I want to experience this. I want to experience this. In the background, that he keeps saying like, "Come, come," and like puts us in. I want to experience this, yo. I want to experience this. Oh my gosh! I want to cry. <laughs> I want to cry. <laughs> because it goes to show how much the Thai people appreciate um, foreigners or persons who are not from Thailand willing to experience or learn things about Thailand. That is what I really love about the Thai people. They are very excited that a normal person from the western part of the world actually enjoys and watches their video. That is why it's amazing. It's, and it's good to learn from them. It's, there's a lot of things that... Really? So do they keep the hair? Or oh, different persons are cutting? Wow. 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 Are you expecting to do this this morning? <laughs> no. I to show up and then just leave like an hour later. <laughs> five different people are cutting my hair. Wow. So that's like the, the temple or the residential area? Enlightenment tonight. May your mind be awakened mind. May you understand the law of the nature that is the real teaching of the Buddha. Everything is impermanent. If you access this room, your life. Wow. I got a lot of work to do. How are they gonna cut this one? This is so nappy. Oh, I got so much hair. 
<laughs> this when is so happy. Movie, we are currently <laughs> do this for you. That's why when we become a novice, we will think about the parents and we wish them to be happy on this ordination. Wow. Wow. Everything is just coming up. Wow. <laughs> Strap <laughs> ball. Cool. I feel it. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. And <laughs> <laughs> my parents are not Buddhist. It'll take them some time for them to understand. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hopefully. What do you think of this? This is amazing for me. This is the first visiting in Thailand and he think about to be a novice. That's awesome. That's amazing for me. I think if yeah. you're gonna learn about Buddhism, there's no better way. Some that you experience it. The easiest way because nobody would do this when he's doing it. Some I would do it surely. Like, I brought everything. I would try it. <sighs> That's one of the most difficult because how long does it take? How long does it take to go back? That is what's that's that's what is amazing. <laughs> go ahead, sir. Bad. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad. Oh my God. He looks like a man. Eyebrows are really important. But why didn't he do the? Why didn't he do the beard too? Alright, we didn't want to be disrespectful laughing. It was just such a shock seeing my <laughs> brother look so different. But yeah, no way do you want to make fun of Buddhism or anything. So yeah. it's just because of him looking just totally, totally different. <laughs> I understand, wow. Wow. So when you become a monk and you have your head shaved, oh my gosh, this guy is very pale, wow. <laughs> Well, is there a black monk? I want you guys to make this video request. Is there a video where uh, someone like my skin complexion actually became a monk? That would, I would like to see how that person, um, you know, went through that transition. <laughs> I'm a novice. You're officially a novice. That was intense. It was crazy. Uh, wow. Tonight, you have to separate your bedroom. Man and I are going together, one. and yes. then he's going alone? Yes. <laughs> Man and I are going to sleep over here, and Pity is going to go sleep with the other new monks. Friends. <laughs> that is huh? huge. Oh! Are these, are these dangerous? Oh! It's a bit dangerous. It's a bit dangerous. A little bit dangerous? Yes. What? It's a bit dangerous. What? <laughs> <laughs> a little bit dangerous. What? A little bit dangerous. You right? When a little tail prick you, that's a problem. <laughs> wow. I, as I was saying, these guys must be filmers or, or um real like video producers or something. Their video is amazing. Wow. Would be awesome to experience this. But the hair going back quick. Oh, I was asking, how often do they have to cut their hair? Because I find those who are amongst their hair, they have a lot of hair in the head. But do you only shave your hair the first time you become a monk? And they're walking barefooted. I guess to be a monk, you have to walk barefooted, yeah. Young novice? Young novice? A thumb. thumb. This is the thumb. Ah, oh, okay. T O M thumb. T U M thumb. <laughs> thumb. Okay. Thumb. Thumb. Oh. Happy. Uh. <laughs> I have a big smile. <laughs> Uh, wow. Walking meditation for about an hour, some Tai Chi relaxation, and we're gonna go eat. He's yes, getting back back already. Can I see it? So the novices have to sit and eat outside. The monk Titi is the inside. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you go and meet the master. I just had lunch with the master, which was pretty crazy. And the whole point behind this meal was just to try to eat mindfully wow. and to really focus on the food that you're eating. Yeah. Any thought or the future or the past, get away from your mind and just focus on the food that's in your That's a good. I'm happy that they did this video, especially as Westerners. Like, it, I'm happy they exposed that culture of Thailand. I'm quite sure to the world.
การลาสิกขาหมายความว่าลากลับไปเป็น Lay person. Wow. <laughs> wow. If you would like to come back here anytime, any year, remember this is the same as your house. All right, we're about to head out. It's been a whirlwind of things happening. Wow. Not expecting anything to happen, and next thing I know, we're being like welcomed on stage. I'm getting my head shaved, and then getting sung to by hundreds of students. Everyone's just so kind. That was good. Yeah. Oh my God. Someone sent for me. I need to come visit Thailand. Oh, as soon as I get the funds accumulated. To achieve, but here it's all about fully being in the present. I don't even care that I'm gonna have no. Yeah, eyebrows, you no you hair, forget about that. Months, at least, because one of those things that you let go and you realize it's not really part of yeah. who you are, and forces you to be really happy with yourself and what your personality is. That so, is great. Forward to being stared at in Europe. <laughs> <laughs> well, everyone will know you came from Thailand. I'm quite sure that is amazing. Okay, thank you for requesting this one. This one is a great exposure. To a Western person, a layman, um, experiencing the Thai culture of the monkhood. Um, it was just for 24 hours, but I'm quite sure, as he said, it uh, it allows you to see that um, you know you need to just appreciate yourself and not just your physical. I also believe even um, that you should not focus too much on your appearance because all of that can just go in a flash. Not just us passing away, like you could look so very pretty and a bad accident could happen, you get burnt, you know, anything could happen. So you need to appreciate that personality you have and, and, and take care of that personality so that irrespective of what may happen to this, you will still continue as that awesome love and personality that you are. If you're a troublesome personality, that too, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> Thank you guys for requesting this one. I enjoyed it. It was a very great exposure and I hope indeed that if I visit Thailand, for sure that I can experience this also. I really want to experience most of the culture in Thailand. Of course, so far, all what I've seen, um, it's different from my belief in the Caribbean um, because we don't practice monk or Buddhism, but it would be great to see and to experience it. Um, of course, I, will, I am still um, of the belief that there is God Almighty, Jesus Christ, and that we have to trust Him to be eternally saved. Definitely, I'm not going to lose over my religion and my culture, but it's great to learn others, okay? Don't be all stiffed up and don't want to learn someone else's because at the end of the day, if you believe what you believe is true, you got to understand that what the person believes is true and if it is that you want them to come on your side, you also have to believe what they're saying so that, and just like they would like you to respect it. And I'm happy he said in the video, um, he did not laugh because of the culture, but he laughs seeing his friend as brother face, you know, different. So we've got to respect each other's culture and religion, irrespective of what it is, just respect it because at the end of the day, we're all human beings, okay? Um, I just want to encourage you guys, thank you for your questions, one like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. If you want me to react to your video, leave a comment below. Thank you so very much. Bye guys!